Hey everybody, Derek Brown here bringing you another Tuesday tutorial uh, on my Beatbox Sax channel. Hopefully you've subscribed uh, if you've been uh, enjoying these lessons um, and hopefully you're, you're making some progress towards uh, doing this Beatbox sound. Today we are going to talk about uh, one of the most uh, important techniques that I use uh, a lot with this um, and this is slap tonguing. Uh, so this is kind of getting my bass sound which if you remember in the overview uh, there's kind of three basic sounds that I use the most by far and that's the saxophone pops which is like our snare. There's the hi-hat clicks And then finally we're getting to today uh, slap tonguing which is like the bass effect. So uh, one little thing to mention is that slap tonguing is by far the hardest of the three. I'm not kidding, it's very difficult. Some people are lucky enough to just get it first time uh, and wow, more power to you, but for me it took uh, weeks just to get a suction on the reed uh, and then months and probably a year or two before I actually had it uh, really under control. Um, so uh, first of all what is slap tonguing? Uh, well um, it's putting your reed against the tongue, making a suction, pulling back and letting that reed then pop or slap against, uh, against the mouthpiece while you're shooting air through the horn uh, to kind of amplify that. So all that happens in a split second. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to break it down uh, today. So first I would suggest just getting a single reed and we're just going to try to get a suction on the reed because this is the most important part and the hardest part and the most frustrating part. Uh, so what I would suggest is just having a, have a, an extra reed and probably a bad reed, a, a reed that you don't use very more, maybe one that's cracked a little bit, whatever. Have one laying around when you're watching TV, reading a book, eating lunch, uh, if your family doesn't find it too gross, and just once in a while take it out, see if you can get a suction on it, work on it for about a minute. If you don't get it, put it down, come back to it later, but this is going to take a lot of constant practice. Um, and don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your tongue. Everybody can do it. I thought I had something wrong with my tongue. I eventually got it. Uh, so, first of all, you're going to notice uh, you, you can use any reed. Uh, you'll notice mine is clear. That's because it's uh, actually a Legere synthetic reed. Um, I just use the regular cut. Uh, I find that these are really dur durable. They don't split on me or crack uh, very easily. Um, and I, I feel like I can get a little bit more suction on it. Um, but yeah, any reed will do. And what you're going to do is you're going to place this on your tongue and you're going to use quite a bit more tongue at first uh, than you're used to using. Um, don't worry, we'll, we will we'll use less and less tongue as we get going because that's an important part as well. You're just trying to do anything you can do to get a suction. So you're going to place it on your tongue and you're going to try to, if this is my tongue, you're going to try to kind of have the, have the middle section collapse in. So your sides in the front and back are going to remain up but your, the middle of your tongue is going to collapse and that's what creates the suction against the flat reed. Uh, so just try to do this and here's an example of what it looks like. So you can see the sides of my tongue kind of staying in place going up as I'm kind of putting pressure on it and yeah you can squeeze down um, against the tongue but that middle part you have to kind of collapse and try to try to create that pressure um, and then pull a, pull the reed away and see if you can get it to pop a little bit. It's going to take forever and you're going to want to give up but just stay with it do it multiple times throughout the day and within a couple of weeks and it may take a couple of weeks may take a month you will get it. Um, so that's the first step is doing that. The next step, put it on your mouthpiece and you could just do this with the mouthpiece or just with the mouthpiece and neck. You can stick it on the horn as well. 
see if you can now uh, get that same suction. Um, don't worry about the volume, it's going to be really quiet at first because we're not using any air to send it through. But you see if you can just feel and hear the tiniest little bit of release. So it'll sound like this. Don't be afraid still to use a lot of tongue. The goal is once you get it, we're going to start to kind of pull that back to where eventually you're using only this much. Basically about as much as I used a tongue. Um, so, so that's the goal. Uh, so just try to get that click. Notice I'm not doing my normal embouchure. My mouth is open. You don't have to move your jaw or anything. So just mess around with that. The next step is can you shoot a little air through right when you release that to really to help kind of shove that slap uh, and to help amplify it. And that's going to sound like this. And you still don't have to have your, your correct embouchure formed yet. So if you can do that, great. You are well on your way. And for real, once you get any kind of suction at all, that is a huge first step. So great job. So I'm going to put the, the uh, mouthpiece back on the horn. And now we're going to try to get a tone. So to do this, here's where you're going to want to tr start to get to your more normal embouchure. And this is going to take, this is going to take weeks as well um, to do this, to get that, to get used to that, because you're going to be having to use a lot less tongue. And once you can do that, finger a note and see if you can actually get that note to sound. So if this is my F, here it is slapped. Now, if you're getting this sound, that means you actually don't have enough pressure from your lower lip. Um, so add a little pressure, which actually helps the slap occur easier. Um, and you'll actually find, yeah, it's biting harder. Uh, you actually get a, a better tone the harder you bite. You get a better uh, slap tone. Um, but you're going to have to balance that with intonation, uh, because obviously the harder you bite, the, the sharper it's going to go. Um, so just you just got to find that right balance. But at the beginning, don't worry about the intonation. Just see if you can get that nice... Uh, reverberating dong dong if you can do that try moving it around the horn see if you can get different notes to come out I find that the lower notes come out easier um, and you'll particularly note that yes on a tenor you can get more of that resonant low bass sound however you can still do it on an alto and a soprano uh, and it sounds amazing on Barry uh, of course uh, so see if you can move that around so forth. Uh, if it's hard also to get the tone, once again, you need that pressure. And I'll admit my jaw might jut forward just a tiny bit. Here's up close of what I'm doing. And you might find it easier at the beginning to shoot that jaw forward a little bit, but that's not a habit you want to keep. You want it to be as absolutely close to your normal embouchure. Uh, as you can, uh, so that you can go back and forth in and out between these. So, if you're not, once again, if you're having trouble uh, getting the tone, another thing to do is just do the slap tongue as just kind of like your normal tongue and then hold the note, which we, you don't usually hear me do, but try to do that to make sure you're actually getting a strong note. So, it sounds like a, a bad beginning saxophonist who's just tonguing too hard. But once you can do that, uh, keep, st still keep that strength of air on the initial uh, tongue, but just have much less sustain. Gradually cut that sustain back so you just have that air at the very beginning and you'll get used to how much you need. So it sounds like this as I'm practicing releasing the sustain, using less sustain. <laughs> and so forth. So that is part one of slap tonguing. I will be doing more of these uh, in the future. I use the slap tongue also with some other techniques. 
uh, with my play with my beatbox playing. And if you notice that I can actually do this pretty fast, what I'm actually doing is alternating with slap tonguing and tongue ramming, which I'll talk about uh, at a future date as well. And that's something that's totally different, but it has a similar sound. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you're still struggling, uh, shoot me comments uh, in the bottom. I'll try to respond uh, to those to get you started. Uh, but also I've started uh, teaching private lessons individually on Skype. So head over to my website, uh, which is DerekBrownSax.com, um, and we can set up a Skype lesson or two or regular lessons uh, to do any of these techniques that I'm talking about or anything you see in my videos. Um, so be sure to check those out as well. Once again, be prepared. This will take a long time. Don't get discouraged. It took me forever. It took me a, probably a couple years before I actually started to master this. Um, and definitely weeks, uh, at least at least multiple days before I could get any kind of suction. So once again, that is the first step uh, and until you can get that, kind of disregard everything else. So, so best of luck, and I'll see you next week. Take care.